Hey guys, I'm back in another video. Today I'm going to be telling you a th big, amazing theory that they have. Uh, so, I'm going to be reading this, which you guys probably don't want to hear. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be saying it on the screen right here. If you um, don't want to hear me um, talk, you can just skip from this number to this number. So, yeah, let's get started. Also, one more. Also, I'm about to start talking in 3, 2, 1. Nedimo will be a future antagonist in the Mimic Book 4. He's one of the four beasts that rampage across the earth as the Beast of Rage. He's one of the beasts who fought Kusunoki, Master CJ, along with Sama, and Zagane Yuma. Nedimo is a creature that crawls on all, four, on all fours with skin that light that is light brown. And dreads are detailed, but shorter than his previous dreads, he has a wide mouth with large teeth, causing his skin to tear, making more teeth visible. He has no eyes instead of instead he has thin long grooves that replace it. What? Let me see. Oh. They really got to change Rage because Rage looks so weird, not going to lie. But guys, it's not besides the point. I'm going to be telling you. I'm going to be telling you what I think of after I'm done reading. Yeah, this part right here. Now, Tomo is the creature that crawls on all fours. He has a large head with a wide open mouth with razor sharp teeth. His hair is messy and his skin color is an olive tone. Noticeably, noticeably his body is more deformed. Name Netamo, age, mental, que age, question mark. I mean, age is mental. Age, for age, mental, question mark, chron chronological, 300 plus years. That's before, like, the, the thousands came, like, for years, I think. Gender, male. Okay. Martial status, unknown status, alive, sealed, date of birth, and early Japan. Interesting. Cause of death, unknown. Relatives, evil god, evil god, creator. Friends, Sama and Zuken Yuma. Hold up. If it said who fought Kusunoki. Oh! That makes sense, because Kusunoki is a samurai. By the way, guys, if you don't know who Kusunoki is, Kusunoki <laughs> is, you know, that guy with those lo lots of hands? <laughs> and, like, when it, when the chapter 2 first came out, yeah, that, that they, we used to call him a samurai, but now that he has a real name, his name is Kusunoki Master CJ. Also, I... Also, there. Also, if you look up Kusunoki Master C, also if you look up Kusunoki, just Kusunoki on the website, it will actually show. It will actually show a samurai, but you can also look on YouTube because samurais could possibly, samurais possibly, existed. Well, I don't think they really th did because samurais can't be that big, right? Well, anyways, um, what my theory is, is that, um, it acts, is that, um, you know this? Yeah, right here. This could be, like, the first stage, and she comes out in, like, chapter, and like, book two, I mean, book four of chapter two, or chapter three, and then it's, um... And then it's, um, the upcoming one mean, probably means, like, it's, it's last stage and is, like, more scarier. Like, maybe Rage rages easily, so that's why he can, he's having, he can have lots of forms and he's trying to kill you, like, a lot. Because, um... Because um he like tries to get the mo like the most um uh 
Guys, don't wonder how I'm just keep doing that. I'm like, the thing that the witch trial says my anger is the only thing that brings color to my dull gray life. It's just getting to me. Anyways, bros, keep getting to me. Okay, anyway, I'm just not going to look at that. Oh, come on. Now I forgot what I was talking about. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Well, let's just skip that. And, um, yeah, that's my theory. And, um, uh, like, he, the fact that, like, he looks like that, though, it's kind of weird. Like, I always wonder, like, what if this was a girl? This was, hold up. What if she, what if Rage was always a girl? Does this look like a girl to you? This looks kind of like a boy. And why is the hair in the back of his head? Like, this one looks scarier, but this one looks disturbing, to be honest. So, um, yeah. Accor in Netomo's creation, it says, According to the lore writer aboard El Eldrick, God created Kintaru and Decay, Netomo, and Yuma due to wanting to lose puppets. They became the four beasts. The four beasts rampaged across the earth, controlled jealousy, rage, and rebirth. For ten days, they raged against their glided cage, and for ten nights, he fought against our people's plight. The earth shook and our ocean burned. As we fought for weeks, his back unturned. Control was sent to the east, sailed to a soccer tree, and unable to feast. Jealousy was sent to the bottom of the sea, part of forgotten jealousy. I meant legacy. Rage was trapped in the strongest cage, seeing with wrath and counting his days. Rebirth was forced into the deep earth, endlessly watching the world in reverse. This confirms that prior, prior to the main event of the mimic, Natsumo was sealed in a strong, heavy cage by Kusunoki. Wait a second. If he was sealed in a strong cage... Wouldn't that mean he's a strong beast? Hold up. And just imagine, guys. Imagine if this was the strongest beast out of all of them. That can't be possible, guys. That just can't be. I just wish I can see, like, his whole body. Hold up. I'm gonna see if I can look up Rage and see it on the Mimic. Guys, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, okay. Uh, Rage remodel. The Mimic. Come on, he has to have a new remodel. Uh. Do you have the menu in English, please? Shut up, Oye, shut up, shut ayuda. up, shut up. <laughs> I think I can see a hand back there. Hold up a silly second. Is that eight? Is that? Hold up. I see the other arm going like another way, and I see the hand like hanging down back there. But I see three legs. I. This thing has four legs and two hands. What? Holy. I really love this remodel because it was the only re realistic design. But I think he needs a new re redesign. By the way, do you think he will get remodeled again? I hope so. Y'all realize that this dude has four legs? And two hands. And two Hands slash arms. What? Oh, is legit legit confirmed by lore writers? They were originally all females. Oh yeah, they were, but now um jealousy and rage are now males. 
Apparently, this now looks like a male. And if I look up jealous, jealousy. No, the mimic. And decay. <laughs> See, look how look how good this looks. Like it looks so much like a boy, not a girl. Yeah, originally it was a girl. Okay, now that's weird. Guys, who's excited for book two, chapter two? She fills me with jealousy. Guys, before I end the video, I'm going to show you a leak. So the mimic info. Show you something. Hold on a second. Mimic Discord. Let's see. Okay. There we go. I joined his disc I joined the Discord. Alright guys. So it says trailer soon. It says trailer soon, winky face. It says trailer soon, and this was released yesterday at 8.09 p.m. Muck Dick. And it says chapter two. Well, of course, chapter two. For a better look. So I'm going to tell the details. It looks like we're inside of a garden with, like, kelp around, I guess. Because I can see a jellyfish up there. Like, we're in water. Because, you know, why would jellyfish be floating out of on land? That makes no sense. And I think I see, like, some sunlight. But I've been wondering, how would Tanome, aka Kyogi, get us and um bring us to the ocean? Like, I feel like Tanome is like a worker for Jealousy. Like, Jealousy's making Tanome do it. Well, Tanome probably didn't want to do it, but Jealousy made him do it. So now to so now to know him was like a whole different person before he was a monster. So then it was jealousy cursed to know him, and now to know him is a monster with no eyes because jealousy probably took out his eyes and put them on his hands, and that's why um to know him regrets it. So um to know him makes an agreement of working for jealousy, and that's probably why he tried getting us so much. So he even tried chasing us through the vents. Then he tried drowning us. But the fact how we keep surviving, like from that whale guy and um from other people, maybe it's because we have um maybe it's because we have like superpowers. Elijah thought of this theory. So that's why I'm putting inside of my video. Like what if he has superpowers? Yeah, what if he has superpowers? Well, not superpowers, but, like, he has powers. So his powers saved him. And, and, and that's why he can breathe underwater. Or he has a tank on. But if he had a tank on, then he wouldn't lose oxygen in the last part. Which wouldn't really make sense, but I believe Elijah for the powers part, like how we can breathe underwater. Mm. Or it's aquatic themed. Mm. And one more thing, it looks like there's like mountains and seagrass and stuff. 
And I think, what is that, a whale? A skeleton whale or something? Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, by the way, if you want to join, um, if you want to join the Mimic, um, if you want to join the Mimic Discord, it's CTS Studio, it's CT Studios. Or CTS Studios. Yeah, that sounds weird, so I'm just going to say CT Studios. But, guys, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye, guys. Also, you can guys join my Discord if you are a friend of mine. So, uh, uh, yeah. Guys, have a good day.